Welcome to Primo RV Center and a first look at a brand new, fully updated 2024 208 BHS. This is the first standard model that we've received that has every update that Apex has been kind of doing rolling changes with. So the big one here is more your dinette uh, cushion color. So it's kind of, they call it their casino interior. It's a very sort of hint of blue, uh, somewhere between kind of a navy, navy and a dark gray. Really love the color. And it's got some nice dark matching kind of trim that goes around as well. So it all ties in really, really well. Uh, and then you've got matching window treatments here above as well. So all tying into the color. I think it's a fantastic color. Uh, on, in this unit and certainly matches the grays and the blues traditionally they've used over the years. So we've got some great features on the inside here that are kind of things customers have been asking for. So we're going to start just by the front door here. <clears throat> As we come in, uh, we're going to have some primary switches for things like slide outs, uh, awning switch, and mean lights. So one of the changes that, again, people have been asking for is the traditional stereos. They've now gone to a Bluetooth speaker that you can take outside, say keep at your picnic table, but you can also take to the beach. And as so many of us have devices, phones, iPads, things like that we're bringing with us that have all our music collection on it, and oftentimes when you're in a park, radio connections aren't the best. Uh, this way it gives you something that's always charging when it's plugged in, uh, works quite well, weather resistant. So something that customers are asking for, and it's a little subtle change they've made. In the kitchen area, you're gonna have a plug in here just off to the side. They've got the same great massive sink here for us. So stainless steel sink, basically bathe the baby in here. It's so large, it's a really wonderful job. You've got the insert here to give us full prep space. I'm not even gonna try to do that one-handed. We've got a nice high-rise faucet here. So again, easy to fill a pot. And then we've got a little subtle change in the countertop for 2024. So again, one of those rolling changes they just made. Same great drop-in suburban uh, two-burner cooktop. And then the big change here is drawers. So Nanos have typically never had drawers. And it's something that customers have sort of been saying, well, it'd be nice to have. Uh, so they have listened. So you've got a couple drawers here in the kitchen uh, to be able to, again, hide away your cloth and sponges and then you've got a cutlery drawer just below uh, but same great storage just divided a little bit differently and then above hand here you've got great dish storage you've got some pantry storage here above the fridge as well and then that continues it can be pantry here just outside of your bathroom or it can be storage for the bunk area as well so the other change in the kitchen is uh, they've been a rolling change they've had for a little while now but is our 12 volt fridge so that pairs very very well uh, with the onboard uh, 12 volt uh, solar prep system so we've got solar 200 watts on the roof here so you can be running that fridge you're also typically going to get a charge through your vehicle seven-way plug uh, into the coach so again that's going to be charging that battery so you've got kind of two methods that is charging that battery uh, on the road that your fridge is then drawing from so you're not having to worry about propane in terms of uh, having it as a fuel for uh, that fridge especially as you drive you can keep it running no issues we've got a central furnace here we've got central air as well and then a really great feature is we've got a three-speed out fan. So you can imagine if you first get to the campsite and it's quite hot, you can kind of open up the windows here, especially those cross ventilating uh, kitchen and dinette windows, uh, open up that uh, three-speed fan and really get the air flowing. So you're getting that hot air out. Entering the bedroom area here, this is the traditional uh, standard bed setup. So you've got about a 50-50 storage. You've got about half that storage uh, on the inside. Great one for the bags and anything else you're bringing with you, extra bedding, pillows, uh, especially if you occasionally do set up the dinette as a bed. And then we've got uh, escape, emergency escape window here. It does have a screen. You can leave that out about six inches. Even if it's raining, that's one you can leave open, which is great. And then we've got USB as well as 120 volt on either side of the bed. So if anybody has a CPAP machine or just want to be able to, again, charge devices at night, you could do that. So we've got the huge window here in the front that really lets in a ton of light when you want it. But then we also have the blackout shade. We've got our great above bed storage here. We've got our privacy curtain. So great for, you know, just letting an extra space for a bigger family, letting someone get changed or just at night uh, to have some privacy. Uh, so that's on this particular model. We do have a couple other iterations, one of which uh, in stock will have the Murphy bed option. So that is available. And if you check our site, you're gonna see a video for that option as well. So you can see how that changes the layout just a little bit. Into the dinette area, this is that fourth bed option. So if you needed it, you can drop that down. Uh, I did actually have a customer recently that, that kind of measured. And if you've got a taller adult or taller teen, uh, from corner to corner, it worked out to about six foot four. So especially if someone doesn't mind sleeping on a bit of an angle, it actually can be quite a large bed. Um, you've got storage underneath, so you could keep one side maybe for storage uh, for those bedding items that you might keep there. And um, you've got the ability to quickly drop that down. And we've got, again, the um, 
all that storage underneath. So really great. And then we've got the great airflow through. Again, a blackout curtain for privacy. Keep the sun out of whoever's sleeping there's eyes. We have built-in safety features. So we do have both a, um, uh, we've got a fire suppressant system here. So we've got uh, onboard carbon monoxide detectors, uh, certainly fire detectors. And uh, we're gonna have our extinguisher here just by the door. So we wanna keep you nice and safe. As we head back, we're going to have controls for our air conditioning or on the air conditioning itself. Our furnace controls are right here. It is pre-wired for television on the roof with a digital antenna. And then the plug-in is here. And then we do have a cable prep as well. So should it be something where you just want to have us add the mount and perhaps in the future you add a TV, we can do that. Or we can add a TV and mount combination. Uh, just depending what you're after, if it's something you're going to use. Great storage in the bunk area. So you've got oversized bunks that really fit, you know, young kids to uh, to full teenagers that are adult size so you've got uh, beds that are plenty wide enough there's lots of room in there for the gun to keep their bags and toys tons of ventilation with the window and then you do have the blackout curtain as well and then you've got individual curtains here as well you've got a plug-in as well 120 volt here so you've got some ability to charge we've got individual lights here individual led lights that they can turn on and off and then we do have the ability uh, should you wish uh, this can lift up as well so if you want to be able to store a bike in transit uh, kids kayaks those kind of things it's a great spot where if you do have a dog and you want to have a dog bed it can be out of the way but it's just a great over area for you know if you bring some rubber made bins and you're on a longer trip they can kind of safely stow in that area so it's just a wonderful cargo area and then what's great about the 208 especially if you have younger kids or even if you don't so when that slide out is in so even in your driveway you've got the ability to get to the bathroom uh, the fridge the kitchen uh, the back bunks, all of those areas um, with the slide out in. So on the road, if you just need to pull over because somebody needs to use the bathroom, you're going to have access. It's going to be easy to use. It is a full three-piece bath. You've got lots of storage in your vanity with plug-ins, great little medicine cabinet for the basics and first aid kit. And then we've got some towel storage already on the wall for you. Our monitor panel is going to be back here to check on levels of our tanks, turn on our water pump, and then the ability to turn on our water heater in both propane and electric. It's all here for you. We've got a couple hooks on the wall as well already there for you. You do have a skylight above the tub, so it'll give you a bit more height there for those who are a bit taller. And you do have a vent built in as well, which is powered with a small fan. Uh, so again, all the pieces you want with the ease of use uh, on the road, which families really, really appreciate. And that's what certainly, uh, one of the things that makes this a, a great seller is again, it's something you can use in transit, but also use setup with really everything you need without going over top, but also keeping those tow vehicles in mind. Uh, with this one coming in just a hair over 4,200 pounds, it's towable by a lot of those SUVs out there, which is most often what our customers are using, but light trucks very capable as well. We'd invite you to Primo RV Center, come a much closer look at this brand new 2024 28 BHS in the new Casino interior.